Right now, scattered across the universe, there are black holes of every size, from invisible corpses of dead stars to supermassive titans with billions of suns inside them. But what if, somehow, every black hole was forced to merge into one? The result would be a single cosmic monster, a black hole bigger than anything you've ever imagined. And the moment it formed, the universe would never be the same. Let's start with scale. Astronomers estimate there are around 40 quintillion stellar black holes in the observable universe. That's a four with 19 zeros after it. Add in the supermassive black holes lurking at the hearts of galaxies. And together, they contain around five times 10 to the 20 solar masses of material. Now, cram all of that into one place. The result would be a single black hole with a radius of about 158 million light years. That means its diameter, its event horizon, would stretch 316 million light years across. That's so large, the horizon would swallow tens of thousands of galaxies whole, including galaxy clusters bigger than the Virgo cluster. To put it in perspective, the Milky Way is 100,000 light years wide. This new horizon would be more than 3,000 times larger. But here's a surprise. Even this monster wouldn't consume the entire universe. Why? Because the universe is just too big. The observable universe has a radius of 46.5 billion light years. Compare that to our mega black holes 158 million. Yes, it would devour whole neighborhoods of galaxies. But beyond its edge, the universe keeps going. In cosmic terms, this ultimate black hole would be enormous, and yet still just a speck in the wider cosmos. Now imagine the moment of merging. Every time two black holes collide, part of their mass is blasted away as gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of space-time. LIGO detected this in 2015, when two stellar black holes merged and released energy equivalent to three suns in a fraction of a second. That single event was brighter than the light of every star in the observable universe combined. Now scale that up. If all the black holes merged, about 4.5 times 10 to the 66th power joules of energy would roar out as gravitational waves. That's the sun's entire lifetime energy output multiplied by a hundred trillion, 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 the universe would literally scream. For a brief instant, space-time itself would be shaking harder than at any other moment since the Big Bang. And here's something even stranger. Space-time wouldn't snap back perfectly. Gravitational waves carry a hidden feature called the memory effect. When a massive wave passes, Space-time doesn't completely relax. It leaves a permanent stretch, like a scar. After the cosmic merger, the universe itself would be deformed forever. That means even if you were floating far from the black hole, you'd never be in quite the same place again. The coordinates of reality would shift permanently. A cosmic fingerprint of the greatest collision imaginable Black holes aren't just hungry, they're also the champions of entropy, the measure of disorder in the universe. For black holes, entropy scales with the square of their mass. So when you combine many smaller holes into one giant, the entropy skyrockets. Our cosmic monolith would have about 10 to the power of 118 units of entropy. That's a number so large it makes the rest of the universe's entropy completely irrelevant. In thermodynamic terms, this single black hole would dominate the universe's march toward heat death. 
the silent, frozen end where everything is maximally disordered. It would be the ultimate entropy machine, sitting at the end of time. Could it ever fade away? In theory, yes. Black holes slowly evaporate by Hawking radiation, leaking particles over incomprehensible timescales. A one solar mass black hole takes about 10 to the 67th power years to vanish. But this thing, its lifetime would be about 10 to the power of 129 years. That's a number so big, it dwarfs even eternity. The universe is only 13.8 billion years old. This black hole would outlast stars, galaxies, even protons themselves. It would sit in silence, unchanging, while everything else disappeared. But here's the catch. This merger could never actually happen. Why? Because the universe is expanding. Black holes billions of light years apart can never influence each other. Light itself can't bridge those gaps. Even within galaxy clusters, black holes take billions of years just to drift together. Across the entire universe? Impossible. So the scenario of one ultimate black hole swallowing everything is a thought experiment, not a prediction. A way to explore the rules of physics by pushing them to the limit. But smaller versions of this story will happen. In about four billion years, the Milky Way will collide with the Andromeda Galaxy. At their centers sit two supermassive black holes. When they finally meet, they'll merge into a single monster, tens of millions of solar masses. And that's just one event. Galaxy clusters are filled with black holes destined to combine. Over cosmic time, the universe will become quieter as black holes merge into fewer, larger beasts. Our local group of galaxies may eventually end with one supermassive black hole at its heart, surrounded by dead stars and silence. Think about what that means. Black holes already dominate the universe's entropy. They already dictate its long-term fate. If they all merged into one, the result would be staggering. A cosmic monolith that roars louder than the Big Bang, scars space-time forever, pushes entropy off the charts, and then sits in silence for a Googleplex of years. It would be the last Titan standing at the end of time. So, in reality, the universe won't ever forge one ultimate black hole. But in a way, it doesn't need to. Black holes already are the rulers of the cosmos, silent, invisible, and patient. And maybe one day, when all the stars have died, they'll be the last witnesses to the universe's final breath. What if we imagine the opposite? Every black hole suddenly evaporating at once. Would the universe be freed or destroyed? Subscribe and let me show you next time.